Hi there, Mike. Hope you survived the blizzard. Uh, this is your video lesson for today. If you have questions at the end or when you look at anything, feel free to shoot those on over and I will do my best to answer. So kind of going off what we talked a little bit back, back and forth on the texting on Saturday is, <coughs> is, um, is when learning how to solo, it's, it's also a good idea to like maybe like learn a couple of solos so you can see how they're constructed, um, how things repeat. Not everything is new material, right? So the one, the tune I picked out for us is a Black Sabbath tune because it'd be nice and easy to solo over top of. Um, is uh, Paranoid. It's the this one. It goes. remember it a second ago, a second ago, here it is. That's the, uh, the, 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 the intro hook, and then you have the... that riff right there um, we'll work on that uh, maybe next lesson or two um, we'll work on that but uh, let's start let's start with all the soul material so to solo over top of this tune or to solo in this tune um, you want to first learn the the E minor pentatonic long form uh, so not a box necessarily but a uh, moving horizontally across the fretboard uh, connecting the boxes so rather than like in this position here this position here this one's helpful because it gets you to move like this way across the, the, the neck um, I've tabbed it out for you right here and just slowly goes through the different boxes, all the, all the five boxes. So you have zero, three, five, seven, right? Five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven, nine. You scooch in, grab eight, eight, ten, twelve, then ten, twelve. The tricky spot is that, that little uh, maneuver you have to do there between strings three and two. Seven, nine, eight, ten. I would isolate that spot and get used to it moving back and forth. Zero, three, five. See, I scooch up on the seven with my ring finger. Then five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven, nine, eight, ten, twelve, ten, twelve. All right, practice that forwards and backwards. All right, so practice that for me. And then moving into the song number two, Paranoid. Um, the solo right here is pretty cool because it actually starts off with a ghost bend, and we're using that long form scale for this position. Later on, he moves into box one. I think he does a little bit of box two. So the, the he solos over top of these changes. This uh, and I found a backing track online that I'll send to you as well as you can practice this. But if I threw this into the looper. Right? So it's nice and easy, to, uh, nice, nice thing to solo over top of. So you can even do what you've already been doing so far with the three note sequences and your string bends, a lot of good stuff. You can still do that over top of this. Right. So going into the solo, if you pull that up real quick, where is it? Power solo. There you are. Listen to that. So the first thing we have here is a string bend, or sorry, ghost bend on uh, on string three, ninth fret. Ghost bend. Seven, nine, you have this. Then two pull-offs from nine to seven. So you have this so far. And then slide nine down to seven, five, Third finger slides down to seven. Two hammer ons from five to seven. Then a hammer on five to seven on the string. Hit seven again. Five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven. Think all, everything really slow.
So start working on that right there and hopefully that'll give you some ideas as to things that you can do um, in your own soloing. So say if I even borrowed that first lick, that idea, right, is this. I might go over here. Or. Or. So the first thing that I would do is like, just like literally rip this off. Like, <laughs> it's played in different spots. That's how you learn how to solo. It's not always come kind of with like a new creative idea. You just take what someone else has done and you try to replicate it and try it in different spots. That's not cheating. That's just literally what, what you have to do. Um, so it's not like you're copying them. So you, I mean, he got this look from somebody else. So I mean, we might as well steal from him. So first we have. So you go, okay, I'll, I'll take that idea and do it here. And then. Or move that. Right, so I just move those ideas just around different positions in the box. So that's what I want you to do. Go ahead and learn this, this part of the solo as much as you can, and then see if you can take like little pieces of it and move it around the E minor pentatonic box, either in the box here or in the long form box we work as well too. Awesome, man. So work on those two things for me. Like I said, if you want me to take a look at anything, shoot on over. If not, I will see you in two weeks. Take care.